What's up, Cowboy Nation? Steve Leslie, YSNLive.com. Coach's Corner, week five from Hackett's here on Mahoning Avenue. Cannot thank Dan Hackett again enough every week here at Hackett's Lounge. Another good turnout inside. Boys having fun. Another big week. Cheney Cowboys 4-0. Pretty big football game in town that we'll have for you on YSN Live Friday night from Rand Stadium at five, uh, 7 o'clock Friday night against the Campfield Cardinals. <laughs> We'll get into that, but again, thanks to be joined by the head ball coach, Coach Anthem. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me again. All right, let's uh, – Marlington, we talked last week. Good football team. No, I, I think coach, yes. when you look at those things, you, you knew that going in when we talked. Programs sometimes take a step down, but that program enigma and, and, and gleam for them obviously cared out. Talk about that game a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, first year coach over there, and he had those guys ready to go. You know, they were 0 and 3 going into the game, but that you know was deceiving for how well they played. But they definitely have some. You know, they're real big up front, physical football team that's that's well coached and going to win games. Close game, maybe closer than a lot of people uh, thought. I, I had looked a couple times, and then you kind of take over the second half. I, I wanted to ask you, it's got to be hard, three and 0. What's sitting here this week? A Canfield team that's one of the best teams in the state, in the area. Did you sense that a little bit during the week or as the game went on? Yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't our best week of practice, you know, and uh, hopefully that's, you know, what those guys learned is what you guys do. You know, what we do Monday through Thursday is going to show up Friday. Um, you know, had a better week this week. But Marlington was prepared. You know, they returned the opening kickoff down to the one and, you know, scored the second play of the game. And, and then we kind of settled in, not really much till the – about halfway through the third quarter, finally, but battled up until that. The other, you know, two and a half. Yeah, that has quarters. to make you proud, though. Uh, you're building a program, an undefeated season. Get hit with a big play, get down, kind of test where you're at. Yeah. Were you pleased with that? Yeah, like kind of, you know, I've said it before. We got to learn how to face adversity and respond to adversity. That was a little more than we wanted to see, but we are learning how to you know, battle through those situations. How hard is it? Adversity. I've noticed this football season, and we do every year. And and I wanted to see your thoughts because you watch a lot of film on different things. I've never seen so many monumental game swings and big plays, whether it be specialties, offense, right. defense. And fans have to remember, you're talking 15 to 18 year old kids. Exactly. Yep. Eleven of them trying to get the same goal accomplished in a talk, five second. Talk span. about that. Yep. And the coaches, yep. it's the same way. Yep. You. I guess the question is, can you ever pre prepare as a staff for monumental swings? Um, I believe there's a way. You know, I think we're a couple strides away from, you know, truly back backing them into the practice plan. But, you know, you're going to throw as much adversity at them as you can sure. in practice. And um, <clears throat> some of it, it's a little hard right now everywhere. You know, you look at numbers of football players and stuff and high school rosters are getting smaller just to kind of represent and present those type of situations in practice with you know depth sure so. talking about depth we've talked about that you're starting to develop some depth talk about some guys um a saturday morning when you go in and you watch things what, what does coach anthem and his staff take out of some of the things you need to get better going into this week um you know there's a lot of things we need to get better at we need to still build on consistent consistency that's for sure but you mentioned depth, like Jordan Hewlett's really stepped up the last two, three games. Um, some of the linemen that we expected to are still doing their job. Say on Ivy, um, Elijah Carter is a beast on O and D line. Both sides of the ball just has a motor. Um, but in the backfield, you know, you you had Juwan Freeman here, I think, that week two. Yes. Um, you know, just those guys just cont continue to contribute and other guys feeding off of that's been huge. With Coach Antrim, Coach's Corner here at Hackett's. Thursday night, I love Thursday nights. I love being a part of Cheney football, doing these things. Great group of kids. Quarterback play's been good. Michael's been good, no doubt. Um, talk about that a little bit. You're going to go against a Canfield team we're going to get into. it. Sometimes you go up and schedule. You can't just run the ball. you got to be a little diverse. Right. I, I look at some of your games and stats. He continues to get better every week. Agree? Yeah, he is. He's growing. I mean, he's a, definitely he's a sophomore. Um, I think this week in particular, some guys around him really stepped up some senior leadership with Jay Hugh and DJ, um, even, you know, Jason, Emil Austin, all those guys, even the line, like everybody kind of realized that, you know, that's a pressure situation, situation. for a sophomore and this is a, a pressure game for a sophomore. So it's been good to see how those guys have responded to him this week. 
um, you know, I feel like I did a better job myself getting them ready this week. So hopefully that transfers to the field. Um, you know, just with, we've talked before about our schedules and that stuff. And, you know, I probably needed to do a better job the last few weeks than I had with, with the sophomore. So I think you're, you're doing a phenomenal job with what you're doing. We're here Thursday night at Hackett's. Cannot thank Dan enough. The crew comes in. I love I love watching got a crew. Grows I, by I, two every week. I, I, I say that because I don't see many differences in them. I guess I want to say right. to you from a week one to right. now, yes, it's a huge game. I'm not going to sit here and say uh, Coach Pavlansky is one of my favorite guys. You know that their, their program. It's I don't see a difference. To me, that's a good thing. Yeah, I think, you know, we've been kind of – building the program and building this senior group for, sure. you know, this kind of moment. Um, you know, so tomorrow's our measuring stick to see where we're at. So we're looking forward to it. All right, Rand Stadium. Open it up. Pretty good crowd from what I understood. Ooh, it was. How special is that? It's great. Guys loved it. Um, you know, get a, a first win up there. And after the game, you know, being able to have the, the family the around and everything, just, you know, it was special for them. It was great. It, it, I saw, you know, the highlights, the why, it looks like a totally different place. It does. It does. I, I, and I've been there since I was a little kid and remember yeah. the grass and the mud. And it just looks, um, it's phenomenal. Hats off to everybody Definitely. involved in that. I know Casey is obviously proud of, as the athletic director to do what you guys do. Now you play Canfield. Good football team. Real good football team. When I say, um, Brock Lowry, what comes to mind? Uh, you know, that's a Division One quarterback that we're going to face. And more than a Division One quarterback, a Division One competitor. Like, he's going to go out, um, do anything he can for to lead his guys. Um, you know, definitely respect him. Our players respect him, what he's done over the years. Well, I will say this. I know I've talked with Coach Pap. He has nothing but respect for you, your football team. A lot of people do. West Side, they need you. Uh, Camfield's coming over. Game of the week, no doubt. We're proud to be a part of it, and we'll have it. We'll have it on YSM. We're the home of, of Cheney football all season long. We're the home of 50 other schools. We're awful proud of that. When, when you look at them, and I've been able to see them a couple times, um, and, and I want to bring it to Michael, to your quarterback a little bit. You see Brock Lowry as a sophomore. Now you see him as a senior. Th those are huge differences for quarterback definitely, plays. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, you know, I just said how Brock's a competitor, Matt's a competitor. Right. Uh, but I mean, quarterbacks a position you get better at with experience. Sure, so, sure. you know, there's you see the difference on film. Sure, oh, but, I'm sure you do. And I and I've been have been fortunate enough to sit and talk with Brock, mm -hmm. and I can't wait to get Michael down the road here. But Brock has said that the game as a senior kind of slows down, down a little yep, bit. Definitely. It's no matter what level you play at, it's going to slow down for you. When you look at them, the past games been really good this year i mean obviously they want to ground the football they want to play physical they know you're a physical football team talk about what you feel about them on offense um i mean i feel like they can you know we're not sure what their game plan is but they have about they have a few different avenues they could go you know they're they're going to be physical up front like i said brock can throw brock can run um they got some guys they're going to do some jet stuff with and and they can throw the ball downfield so um you know we're gonna have to dictate a little bit of that by down and distance and hold our ground there for a while. How exciting is this for you and your staff? It's an opportunity to play home game, number one, um, against a, a, one of the top teams in your region. We talk about your region all the time. Right. That 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 region there is pull it out of a hat who can get hot for four or five. It has to be exciting for you coming back to be the first year head coach to see where this program's at. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, that's kind of what we told them all through the week. You know, we've been in We've had big games yeah, before. Sure. We're not in this type of situation where we're trying to get to five and zero. Oh. Um, we've played real good teams and we've been competitive. Um, but you know, you can tell it's kind of geared towards this a little bit. Um, the, the experience over the years has kind of maybe relaxed them. Like sure. Kind of been here before type situation. Um, but we're looking forward to because that's a great measuring stick. It's one of the best teams, not just in our region, but in the state. And they're like you said, Coach Pav is one of the best coaches around, and those guys are going to be ready. We'll be ready to go, too. We'll have it for you, YSNlive.com, Friday night, 7 o'clock from Rand Stadium. Richie Giuliano will be on the call. we got the best going in a big game. We talk about this all the time. Your senior group, I'm impressed with them. I, every week I get a chance to sit down and talk to, to a couple of them at a time. I, I think the thing that 
impresses me is uh, they get tighter as a group. They do. You know, weeks one, two, three, I don't notice much of a difference. Um, they're excited about opportunities. But again, Dan Hackett, I can't thank you enough for what you do to feed them, to see smiles on their faces. This has become a Cheney ritual. And, and for us at YSN and for you, I, I know that and Quinn is here helping with me every week. That's what I'm most proud of, something that the West Side could stamp their own for Cheney football. Does that mean the Definitely. same for you? Oh, yeah, it's great. Like like you said. You put the food order in. I saw that. The cheese balls. <laughs> yeah, the wing we order. cheese balls and wings. No, they have great food here, so those guys love it. And it's kind of, like I said, just a time for them to step sure. back Absolutely. and kind of relax for 45 minutes or an hour and, and relax together and go home and get the game face off. All right, here we go. Week five. Coach Antrim's keys to victory number five, and this would be – a huge, huge victory. Obviously, like we talked about Brock, we need to contain uh, Brock. But and what's important for us, and I don't know that we've done it yet, and especially after last week, is we have to play four quarters. From the first kickoff till you know the clock's double zeros, we need to play four quarters um, and respond to adversity like sure. we've been working on. I want to ask you this. With Brock, with any good player, and you've gone against some good individuals, they're going to get there. Definitely. At some point in the game, yep. he's going to he's gonna make a play. He's going to get 100 yards. You just got to contain it. Is that safe to say big plays yeah, yep. or, or, or how he kind of makes them roll? Yeah, definitely. And, and like I said, I mean, they can they can drive you off the ball and get a couple of short yardage when they need to, too, in certain situations. If it's third and long, fourth or third and short, fourth and short, you know, they're, they can pound the ball and get it that way, too. But, yeah, you got to contain Brock and we got to be able to, you know, respond and, and stay within ourselves when some when those plays happen. Well, there you have it, Westside. The response is out. They need you. Get on out to Rand Stadium tomorrow night. If you can't get there, hop on YSN and enjoy Richie Giuliano. On the call, Campfield headed to Cheney. Game of the week in the area. No doubt about it. We'll have it on YSN. Coach, can't thank you enough. Wish thank you nothing you. but the best. We'll I talk again.